Okay, playing out the 1985 World Series, uh, Cardinals versus the Royals. I was a Kansas City fan at the time. I'd say I rooted for him because I lived near there. Anyway, History Maker Base Express Baseball. I thought it was History Maker Baseball Express. Huh, it's History Maker Express Baseball Game. So it's from the company Play.com, P-L-A-A-Y.com, and uh, it's... It's a play of the game in a 15 minutes game. It's um, you use individual cards, but you don't necessarily keep track of their stats or anything. And like one roll could be a whole out for a whole inning for a side. So you roll 18 times at least at a minimum. Plus there's extra rolls. We can go into that. I can point out to some videos that talk about how to play. But let's just if I say it plays on these charts like a lot of the history maker games. Resolves here. Um, first game uh, in real life, it was 3-1 to one, St. Louis in Kansas City. Uh, this, uh, my play, 4-0, so I thought it was cool that the total score was the same. Uh, game two um, was 4-2, to two, St. Louis in Kansas City. So St. Louis went up 2-0 at home, or at away, which is pretty crazy. This game turned out to be a blowout, 12-3. Uh, I learned a couple things. Um, after having played these games. this All this chicken scratch in here is me just trying to figure out if I want to track any stats when I start playing games. I'm using this series as kind of a, a learning experience. For example, when I brought in one of the reliever at one point during this, that would have probably put a stop to the runs. So I probably would have had like six or something. Um, and I've just kind of learned some stuff on the uh, fact page, frequently asked questions. So we're going to start game three here. We got game three in St. Louis, and St. Louis is looking to go up 3-0, so we'll see what happens. Be right back. Okay, well, game three over. Took 28 minutes. Um, you can see there what happened. St. Louis Cardinals won by, with, by a score of 4-3. to three. This happened in a fun way. Um, they... Brett Saberhagen stayed in the whole game, but then he got a man on base with first and third, so we called up Dan Quisenberry, and then he got another man on base, second and third, causing two runs to go in, putting them up two point, two runs, well, putting them up one run, getting them up just what they needed, three to four, into game, Cardinals go up three, nothing, into the, the World Series. They start the next game. Uh... Pretty excited to win the World Series. So you can see it goes 0 0. Oh, starting pitchers were Bud Black and John Tudor. John Tudor pitched the whole game in the real life in real life, and Brett Sabrake pitched the whole game in that day. That dame. Oh yeah. In in real life, the Kansas City won that game 6 1. Did not happen. Oh my gosh, look at that. Total runs were seven. Total runs were seven. That is the second time that's happened. Did not happen in this game. In this game, uh, St. Louis won three to nothing. Well, St. Louis Cardinals went up two nil. Got the home crowd pretty excited, but then Kansas City roared back with three two runs, so it's three to two. And then they made a pitching change. Uh, the Royals made a pitching change here to stop them from sticking on the men in base, which worked. And then they did it again here. I don't know if I, I don't think you really to kind of play it the way you should play. It, you shouldn't change again because. That relief pitcher covers the whole relief pitcher for that whole rest of the game. I just couldn't do it, though. I had to stop them because they got four, which did stop them. Uh, then they got a run, I think a home run. So it was four, two, six. And then the Cardinals ripped off six in the bottom of the seventh. The Royals came back with a home, uh, I don't think a home run, just a run. Zero, zero, game over, 12-5. Total run scored 32-11. St. Louis wins the World's 1985 World Series in dominant fashion, which probably really should have happened for nothing. Uh, my first World Series done, I learned a lot of the things. Um, this took me 33 minutes to play, but, you know, I had a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> it's a lot of runs, so it does take longer to play like that. But not near two-third, you know, ten minutes is what they're playing it in. I got a long way to go. I guess I just really can't keep any stats, and maybe I just shouldn't. It's kind of fun to keep them, but maybe I just shouldn't do it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'll have more fun if I'm just playing out, uh, playing out the games using run differential. Maybe, maybe errors. If I can keep track of errors, maybe that'd be something to keep track of.
So I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. Just keep track of errors in this and we'll call it good. Um, in pitcher win loss. So that's that. Um, History Maker Express Baseball by play.com. Um, go check them out. You don't have to you don't have to buy the full game. I bought this and a set of cards, the Fall Classic number one set because it included these this, these two teams. Um, I've kind of been looking at either setting up a double elimination tournament or a season. So it includes, if I did it right, eight American, eight National League teams, and then I'll, um, I'll set up a, a league between them. If I just go National and American, um, I think the years range 54 to 86 or something. You know, so 16 teams in there, eight different World Series. Very fun. I love it, especially this kind of thing happening. So this is the kind of thing I want to keep track of. Um, yeah, good stuff. Enjoyed it. And um, try to get that playtime down. If I can get that playtime down to 10 to 15 minutes, and then I can do a big uh, season and play like a series of games, you know, three in like 30 minutes or 40 minutes, which would be awesome. All right, talk to you all later. See you.